it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, today is a Make It Up Monday day. Um, first things first, I have to apologise for this slightly odd lighting. Um, my husband decided that he was going to be out this evening, which is fine, I have no problem with that. Um, but it means that I can do some late evening videoing. Um, but it does therefore mean that the sun, which is fairly low in the sky, is coming in through that window and um, I've only got kind of filigree lacy curtains. Um, what I should say, however, is that it's it's seven o'clock in the evening and it's sunny and it's been pouring with rain all day. So there you go. Life happens. Um, this is the card that I am going to show you how to make today. It is using the bike ride stamp set. Um, I was lucky enough to be given this as an all attendees um, gift when I went to the on stage event in Amsterdam. Um, on stage, for those who you of you who don't know, is a demonstrator only event. There's one every six months, uh, one in April and one in November. Um, and um, you go along and you you basically become a customer for the for the time you're there. Um, get to see lots of new product and try new product out and generally come away with quite a lot of new stamp sets. Um, and this was the all attendees because it was the on stage live event um, that was being held in Europe and it was in Amsterdam. And they felt that the bike ride was ideal for Amsterdam, which indeed it was because... We were surrounded by, I cannot tell you how many bikes. Um, my husband and I do a lot of cycling and I have never seen so many bikes in one place at one time. And happily, no Lycra anyway, anywhere, because they just use them as a means of transport, which is after all, how they should be used. Anyway, di I digress. So um, this has 22 pieces and it's one of those ones that's it's two stage, two step stamping for some of it. Um, and there is a matching um, set of framelits, um, which have got all sorts of little bits and pieces, some of which you have to kind of work out what they're for. Um, so let me see if I can remember which one it was. Uh, that one is for the dog, which clearly is so obviously a dog. Um, that one's quite easy. That's for the bouquet of flowers. That's for some flowers uh that's the apples um that's the books there's a little butterfly that's completely separate there's these uh this bunting that is completely separate um some little bits to go on the end of the handlebars uh this is the one of the baskets and then there's a separate basket so this is like a basket to go on the back and this is a basket uh to go on the front so the back the basket for the back is is this one um anyway and and a circle for the wheels cuz it's not the same size as any of the other circle images or, or bits and pieces that we've got. Got that in the wrong place somehow. Now, while I'm looking at these, this one here is slightly different. This is actually an embossing die. Although it looks like um, a framelit or a thinlet, it's actually an embossing die. So it's not meant to cut, it's meant to emboss. So if you look, I don't know how well you can see this. Oh, yes, you can. So if you look here, there's this cobbles, cobble strip, um, and that was made using that little die. Um, and you can just move it along a strip of paper. And even though you're putting it through the big shot again, it won't flatten out. Um, it's really quite clever. So yes, that's for embossing. Um, there are a couple of sets of framelits that, are, um, that have some embossing pe pieces in them this year. Um, the oh so eclectic, or the dies that go with the oh so eclectic set, um, to have some embossing items. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, I'm putting that away because I've actually cheated slightly and I have done all of the stamping and all of the embossing because it is quite detailed. Um, that said, I will show you how some of it is done. Um, that I did do a video a wee while ago um, showing you a set of notelets um, which used some of the images. It was the dog, um, the apples, no, the dog, the flowers, the bouquet of flowers and, and, these, fl and these flowers here. Um, so there is a video 
which if I can remember which one it was, I will, it was something like a bike with no bike ride or who needs a bike or something like that. Um, I will try and link it below so that you can see that. Um, but while, while we're not doing much stamping today or indeed any specifically, um, what I will show you is how the bicycle um, kind of goes together just so that you get an idea. So the best thing to do with these slightly sort of thin wispy, because this is thin and wispy, um, stamps is to pop it on your paper and just let it relax. So I'll let it relax whilst I show you the uh, colours that I am going to be using or would have used. Uh, they are mostly from the Brights collection. Um, so this is for the one we're about to make. It's Perfect Plum, which is what I used on the wheels here anyway. Pumpkin Pie, Old Olive, Melon Mambo, uh, Daffodil Delight and Soft Suede. Um, so the bike that I am about to show you I how, uh, what I've done, that wasn't English. Um, I used Melon Mambo for the bike frame, so I'll use Melon Mambo again. So I've now picked this up, um, having let it relax for a while. So let's just ink that up and stamp it down so that is the bike frame and then to fill in there are some little dies of uh, dies little um, stamps that you can fill some of the colours in with. So let's get rid of that. Um, I will use pumpkin pie because it's quite a good contrast. So if I find my little A block, there are, there's a couple of stamps that you can fill in if you guys weren't in my way as ever. Um, you can fill in the handlebars and then there's a pedal now obviously in the privacy of your own home you'll be able to get over these properly i'm having to kind of do it through the camera which is not ideal so that's the pedal i did a better job of that and then there is also a seat See, I can't stamp and talk at the same time. There we are. Oh, yeah, those aren't bad. Um, given, the, given the circumstances un, in which I am doing them, uh, those weren't bad at all. Right, so that's how you would do it. And then you build up each piece separately. Um, all I would say, there is this piece here, which is this piece here. Um, you can stamp it, but there is a die. So if you're getting the dies, there is a die. Um, and if you cut it out, if you cut out the stamped image with the die, you actually end up with only the inked image. There's no no white outline. So frankly, it's easier just to cut it in the corresponding colour um, cardstock. Um, if you're building it as a bike without die cutting it, then obviously that works fine. Um, and I would suggest in that case that you get your you start with lighter colours and then build darker because you're going to be stamping over your wheels, for example, um, although you'd, you'd probably do your frame first and then stamp um, the other bits where they need to be. Um, but I would suggest you use paler colours for your for the things that, when you die cut it, are further back, if that makes sense. You could cut a mask, but cutting a mask for this would be interesting, I think is the word I'm seeking. So that's the stamp. So what have I actually already done? I have, it's going to be, it's not going to be subtle. So we're using a delightful, Daffodil Delight rather, card base, a Melon Mambo mat, I did warn you, this which is quiet, um, and these bits of piece of white cardstock um, and these bits that are going to make up the bicycle and I'm using the front basket and the little uh, flowers so the first thing I want to do is work out 
where I'm going to do my stamping and I'm going to put my stamping in the same place. Now my, my sentiment has actually come from a different stamp set. The bike ride doesn't have any words in it at all and I'm using the You Are Amazing Remember That which is from Feathery Friends which is one of the hostess sets. So let's pull that out and grab a block. I think it should fit on my G block. And it's even straight. Marvellous. Um, right, so I'm going to take the Melon Mambo because it's quite a striking colour. Uh, and I want this to be as far down in the corner as I can get it while still being on the paper. So fingers crossed. And square would be nice. I, you know, just call me picky. Just call me picky. That's better. Ooh, I'm using the wrong bit of my stamp and scrub. Oh, on the subject of which, stamp and scrub tomorrow. Just saying. Um, right, so that's that. Um, I'm then going to work out that that's going to go there. I'm going to just mark, make a very light little mark just there so I know where that's going because I am going to do some some stamping I said I wasn't going to do any stamping I lied I did I lied um oh I'm going to let that phone call go um because we've got an answer phone um so this is flowers flowers leaves um and I'm going to use this here um so let me grab another block I want, I want the, I want that phone to be on to go away. Ah, and it's gone. My wish and all that. Um, we have an answer phone. It won't be anything serious. Um, right, old olive. Um, this is what I've used to make this sort of bush effect. Um, so all I'm doing is stamping and stamping and stamping. And then I might turn it over and do some stamping and stamping and stamping and a bit more stamping and stamping and generally just make a bit of a green splodge. So that's that. Hurrah, hurrah. OK, so I'm going to run some um, snail down my piece of this is basic grey cardstock and it's just a strip that I had left over when I was cutting my mats because um, I do a sort of massive mat cutting session and um, this was a piece I had left over and it's perfect for a cobble street. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to snip that off and snip that off. That's nice and square. And then I will show you how we put this together. Now, I built my bike um, separately from the um, piece of card. And the reason I did that is because you need to get the wheels in the right place. And obviously the first thing you're going to want to stick down is your wheels. So I didn't, because why would I do the normal thing? Um, so I'm gonna put some Tombow on the front fork. Now, you need to remember that this bit of the bicycle should be flat. It doesn't matter too much for the first wheel, because obviously you will just line it up where you want it, remembering that you want your tyre to not rub against your crossbar. So just bear that in mind. And then the other wheel, we can put, put some more adhesive and then line that up and again we want to just make sure that everything is lined up nicely and square so that when it's on its road it's not doing anything daft. It needs to come over a bit more. There we are. So there we are. Right, now this time we're going to be attaching this to this, uh, which is going to be quite interesting. So 
because that obviously doesn't have anything to attach to. Um, you can have it so that it's sort of just off the wheel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach the flowers to the basket and then the whole thing, um, because at least then I've got something a bit more meaty to hang on to, um, and we can then put um, dimensionals behind. So I am going to, and this is actually where uh, your silicon mat would be quite useful, uh, but again, just a bit of, we don't need a huge amount of adhesive, and it will dry clear. So if it does go in the wrong place, it's not the end of the world. Now, remember that gravity is going to say that um, that the flowers should fall forward or backwards and not be bolt upright. So I'm going to have it, uh, but or equally, dare I say, not fall out to the bottom of the basket. Um, so I want them like... I do like a wet adhesive, you get a bit of wiggle room. How many times have I said that? There you are. So you can see that they're falling forwards and actually it's, it sits quite nicely, that flower sits quite nicely over the edge of the basket. So that I can then attach to the bike once we stick it to the card. So I want this to be raised up. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals and some bits of dimensional. So we'll, oops, we'll peddly bit and then bits of dimensional down here and here. You could use mini dimensionals, uh, but I've got these bits going spare, so I might as well use them. But mini dimensionals would be perfect. So let's get rid of those. And of course now it's going to rain. Isn't that just typical? You get your bike out and it's going to rain. You look at the weather, you go, oh look, it's a nice sunny evening, let's get the bike out, and now it looks like it's going to rain. And it's July. Who would have thought it? So, let's pop our bicycle onto our road. There we go. And then this can have more dimensional on the back of it. So one there, and let's use this bit, which is just the right sort of shape, actually. One there. And then this can pop on the front of our bicycle, preferably without actually puncturing the tire. There you are, you see? So we don't need to actually worry about attaching the basket to the bike um, because you can do it from behind. Uh, that's rubbish, so that can go in the bin. Right, so that's all we need to do apart from put it all together. Now, obviously, if with these cards with the darker um, base, you'd want to put a liner inside your card. And if you wanted to add a sentiment, then you could do that on your on the inside of your card. I tend to not do that on camera unless there is a specific reason why I need to only because it then means I've got a stock of cards that I can personalize as and when I need a card. Um, so yeah, um, I, it's, it's one of the things I think is a joy of what I do is that I always have lots of cards on hand um, to send out when I suddenly hear that someone would benefit from a card. Um, I'm a member of a, a few swap groups as well, but um, this just this just gives that extra, extra little, you know, let's have some in stock. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Quick reminder, today is the last day of the July promotion, so that's bonus days. Uh, get a voucher for £4.50 for every £45 you spend in my online store. Um, my free draw for every £25 you spend in my online store, you get an entry for two hostess sets, which are Tranquil Tulips and Dare to Dream. Uh, and that's the one prize, both stamp sets. And it's also the last day to make the most of the Christmas in July um, joining free gift. £65 of essential items, which are two D blocks, um, a pair of snips, a snail, a bone folder um, 
and some grid paper and the Carol of Christmas stamp set, which will not be available for customers. Um, oh, it will be available for customers tomorrow, but you'll have to pay for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so, yeah. So you will get a total of £195 of product for £99, including free shipping. Um, and you get to choose up to £130 worth of products of your choice, plus the bits that I've just told you about that we included free gratis and for nothing and you will also get catalogues and all those good things so yeah today is your last day so don't miss out um if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you are not yet a subscriber and would like to see more please hit the subscribe button which is down in the bottom right hand corner or should be with luck and a fair wind um the associated blog post will be below and that will have all the dimensions and all the information about the products i used but the products i used will also be linked below so i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you again very soon thanks a lot